What's up, everybody? This is iPlayMySNES. Doing some more Monkey Ball. You know, you're probably wondering why I just did it, or why I started the video as soon as I started up. It's because I meant to. Oops. Um. Well, I meant to show you something because, well, at first I would. Why is that thing all the way over here? Mike, what are you doing over there? But, uh, ow. Push that. Note to self, that, uh. Alright, um. There's something you shouldn't be seeing, but, um. Let's see, I think it was. Let's see, that's the first scene. The second scene, that was Volcano. Underwater. I think it was this one. Uh, this one I think you haven't seen yet. This should. Yep, this is exactly it. This is exactly what happened after I beat the, uh, un inside a whale. Hey, I'm getting tired. It doesn't look like we're having any effect on the whale. Uh, I, I, I think my dog's trying to get, no, never mind, it's mine. Of course you're not affecting the whale. It's too big. But continue your futile struggle. Oh, my sweet Mimi. You must be very tired. Let me give you a massage. No, go away. Help me, I, I. You better stop it, Dr. Badboon. If you take another step toward Mimi, you'll be sorry. Um, I, 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 I think you should worry about yourself right there. Oh, that, that hurts. Whoa. It's, it's an earthquake. A big one. It's about time, but it looks like the whale's in a world of hurt. Oh, do we hurt it that much? I feel terrible. Um... Wow, the water's coming in at high speed. What's going to happen to us? I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen to you guys. You're dead. No, I'm kidding. That, that, that would be a horrible ending. But allow me to specify what's going on. You see, the whale needs oxygen, and therefore, when its body carries too much liquid, they usually spout it out from the water hole on their... or the spout on the top of the head. So Dr. Badboon made it out. Oh boy, what a terrible experience. But at least I've escaped. Those monkeys must still be trapped inside. Good riddance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm showing this to you. I should have just made it a bonus video or something. Oh, well. I don't mind. Oh, I forgot to full screen it. Yay, we did it! We did it! The whale brought us out of its body! Hey, I'm glad we're free, but where's Dr. Badboon? Come on, we've gotta get him. Oh, if you guys are wondering if um, I'm gonna show off the party games, yes, I will. As soon as I'm finished with this, I'm I'm gonna definitely show the mini game. I mean, party games. I call them mini games, but they're party games. We're in Ki on Kiki Island. This whole island is one great big amusement park. A monkey's paradise. Really? Do you think he's hiding out it's here? I don't see Dr. Bad Boom now, but I saw him enter the park. His hideout must be here. He's really smart to have a hideout here. Who would think of such a funny place? Okay, now we have to find the entrance to his hideout. It must be hidden around here. Right, no. Let's cooperate. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Magical spell is eat, eat, poo. Yes, because we eat, eat, poo. And doop, doop, doo. Doop, doop, doo. Alright. So basically, there was the entire plot right there. I thought I was about to jump into the next area. Alright, guys. Now, let me just start this off correctly. Give me a couple seconds. 
Hey there everyone, this is how I play my SNES, playing some more Super Monkey Ball 2 Story Mode. We just entered World 5 and after a failage on my stinking dazzle, I switched it to MP MPEG, so less space and less lag. Alright, so let's go on ahead and jump into the amusement park. This is some pretty nice music, I have to say. So the first thing we're going to be introduced is the new technique, which we're going to have to learn for a lot of levels. And it's called the wormhole. Now basically, wow, how would I get the banana? Uh, it's basically the wormhole acts as a warp point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Go! Oh yeah, and the thing gets pretty darn small. Alright, now unlike Anthropod, which was like, freaking impossible, this is much easier, much, much easier. Alright, there we go. I think I'm tilted. Yes, I'm tilted. Alright, so basically free fall here, once you, <laughs> to do that. Now what you gotta do is you gotta try and land on the bob, on the platform and not fall off there's a lower platform which I'm not going to take cuz I don't want to die uh... <laughs> I'm sorry guys it was funny oh, oh I, I, have, I, I can't laugh <laughs> My laugh is like silent. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, melting pot. Uh, basically, you gotta deal with giant balls of fury. So basically, it's a it's a rip off of Balls of Fury, but this game came out before that, so please note that. So maybe Balls of Fury ripped off Monkey. I'm not gonna ask. All right, Mad Shuffle. No, this isn't a Tango class now. We ain't doing the Samba. We ain't doing the Macarena. I'm about to fall off. For stupid reasons, like my cousin does all the time. Basically, Mad Shuffle. Ow. <laughs> Mad Shuffle basically is like. It goes uh, three times in one direction and then turns around and goes into the other direction. So you gotta wait for that time. And then one, two, three. I should stay over here. That was not a bright idea. I forgot that it does it one more time, and then it's... Oh, come on, really? It's kind of tricky to do on fast forward, so that's why I tend not to do it. Uh, I might as well wait for this thing to turn around. Let's go. One, two, three, done. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm breezing through these levels pretty quickly. It's because these levels are easier compared to what I had to deal with with the giant comb and plus there's no lag so yeah it's completely awesome I don't know what happened that day okay alright sorry guys for not talking too much um if you guys are wondering what happened to me um through the weekend when I said I was probably going to try and upload a video. Um, I had tons of homework to do, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to be able to do any of this. Why did I kick this round? Oh, well. I'm going for the second one. Ah! Not for the third one! Second! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine with the first. No, no, no! Okay. Oh, gosh. I hate this level. Uh, jump machine. I forgot the note. This thing is basically, you find the goal or you're gonna get sprung. <laughs> I think it, like, ah, darn it, I didn't get a, you know, forget about that. Zigzag slopes. Um, the one thing to note here, left, right, left, right. The most simplest solution because all the other sides are really steep. If you want to go for the bananas, go on ahead. I find it's so much easier to do it left, right, left, right. Or was it right? No, it was left, right, left, right. And also, for those of you who wanted to know what game I'm playing next, that will be 
announced um, on the last Monkey Ball uh, level, or yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be put out as soon as I finish the last party game, which would be Monkey Tennis. Big shocker there, they have tennis. <laughs> tennis is horrible in this game. Oh, what? Come on. Alright, tower. Basically, you warp up to the top of the tower and you try and... Oh, I didn't... I, I, uh, oh, gosh. I am failing big time here. Drop. Don't die. Okay, let's restart that, because I'm gonna run out of time at that rate. Yeah, big big news, my, my best friend just beat the game for this. Yeah, he was stuck on the uh, sixth level of the last world, and then I sh when he came over, me, uh, he's a Steelers fan, I'm a Ravens fan. When we, uh, he came over for my birthday, which was last Saturday, the day that the Steelers and the Ravens went against each other for the playoffs. Uh, and I showed him how to beat it. He was very relieved that, <laughs> that he saw me do it because he, ow, <laughs> he was able to do it after that. Oh, well, this ought to be easy. Alright, toggle. This is probably gonna be like 5 out of 10 on the stage selection. I haven't done, uh, I've done the second one, but I haven't done the third and fourth. So I'll do that as soon as I'm done with this. Um, Basically, you gotta time this right, so that way those things don't push you off. Yeah. Alright, so let's go. No! Oh crap, I didn't get enough speed! So basically, you want enough speed to get you across, and you also want to time it right. Because if you don't time it right, you're gonna get knocked off like chili. Uh, I don't know why the heck I had to reference chili. But I had to. So we are done here, basically. So this is... Yeah, I'm... Uh, we're, we're already done here. <laughs> I wonder how much time it took me. Probably like 10 minutes by now. Oh, crap. That would have sucked if I died at the beginning. That would have been a stupid death. Uh, if you've seen me play the beginner stages, then this... you probably already seen me do. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, also, the other reason why I haven't been recording is because I've been too busy playing me and my Katamari for the PSP, and also, uh, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Awesome game, awesome game. Right next, uh, Dragon Quest IX. This haunted house looks a little strange. I guess this is his hideout. Look at this board. It says, Please don't, do not enter without my permission. Thank you, Dr. Badby. Funny, he's so polite here. Okay now, let's go in. Hold on, I'm gonna check the time. Oh wow, 13 minutes. That's, that's not bad. I, I will have to give up chasing me if my new plan works. Look at these brilliant robot thieves being produced in my factory. These robots will get me bananas from all over the world. <laughs> and without bananas, I, I will starve. Besides, these robot thieves look exactly like I, I, so everyone will think that it's I, I who's stealing all the bananas. Everyone's going to hate I, I as much as they hate me. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Scans indicate intruders as I, I, and friends. I, I, again. I just can't seem to shake him or his friends. But they can't stop me from walking into a trap. They're, they're walking into a trap. First I'll capture them, then I'll punish them. Did you see the guy in the background? That was funny. <laughs> you foolish monkeys. Didn't you see my sign? I guess you need a lesson in manners. <gasps> Dr. Bad. Well, here's the lesson number one. It's impolite to visit unannounced, unless it's to pay a small visit. So I think you should try this patented mini monkey laser beam on for size. Um, no, we're shrinking! Now, I, I, 
Let's see you pick on someone your own size. My sweet Mimi, shall we have a date in Adventure Forest? Eyebrow waggle. Spoiler. Why, my sweet Mimi, if you want to be normal again, you'll have to be my wife. Why not think about it over a lovely lunch? What do you say? See, there's the eyebrow waggle. Marry you? Stop asking! I'd rather stay small than marry you! <laughs> you are so stubborn! If you won't listen to me, maybe you'll listen to the screams of your friends! Hmm. I think I have a recipe for monkeys and boiling water. It's gross, cannibal. I wonder how they'll taste. Dare you! You stuck up me! Right in the nostril. Uh, oh, oh no, my sweet Mimi has gone up my nostril. Uh, 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 Boink. Oh, this has been I Play My SNES, and next time we will go straight into the Boiling Pot World 6. We're already halfway done. Get her done, like Larry the Cable Guy. Oh yeah, I have no idea what else to say. This is just basically the leftover rambling. I have like, oh whatever. Did you pick a level already? Then it's men, you and you pick a stage for you to play. I don't know. See you guys.